How y'all doing? One of the few face cam videos. So if you can't tell of the title of this video, I'm going to be explaining why I believe in God. Well, you see, I grew up in a Christian household. You know, I, I went to Wednesday night churches when I was little. I watched Veggie Tales when I was little. But I never really got into my faith until my teen years. I'm officially an adult now, 18 years old, but, uh... But, uh, there's also... So, yeah, I was around 15 when I got fully converted to Christianity. And, you know, I always hear these counter-arguments. So, if God exists, why does Shibbity Jabiter exist? His, this doesn't make any sense, blah, 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 blah. It, it, it shit I'm tired of arguing with. Because, you know, yeah, it's cool to get proof. Like, as a Christian, I think it's good to, uh find a proof here and there, there's nothing wrong with that, but, but, uh, but, uh, there's still, but, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, uh, there's, a. Uh, I don't know what I'm saying, but I want to make this video as to why I believe in God and why I believe in the Bible. It's because what I find in it is true. As truth. Alright, truth. They feel encouraging. They feel like we have answers as to why we have a lot of this stuff in life. You know, like, we have a... You know, you might find the forbidden truth... The, the, the forbidden fruit of the tree of knowledge uh, bizarre. But I believe, you know, atheists could find the part where Adam and Eve felt naked. And they just hid from each other. Because they were so ashamed of it. I think they could find that part more believable. And especially Noah's Ark, people hate that story. You know, I could see why, because two animals on a giant boat, even though stuff like that definitely is possible. Uh, you know, I found the reason why God flooded the earth. And, you know, the reason why the rainbow is there is truth. Nowadays, the rainbow is here for <laughs> different reasons, but yeah. You know, like, Genesis also has the Tower of Babel and, uh, you know, many more stories that, you know, are encouraging and stuff like that. And it's not just encouragement. Like, you know, there's this common misconception that the Bible is all just a bunch of happy things that make kids happy or make stupid adults happy. There's a lot of depressing stuff there, too, especially uh, in uh, in Genesis. There's a lot. Uh, especially the, the story of Moses and, of course, Jesus. There's a lot of stuff in there that's not kid-friendly at all. But, uh, yeah... They, they literally say in the Bible that circumcision is, uh, you know, a one-way link to God. You know, stuff like that. Again, I don't know how circumcision was invented and all that stuff, but, uh, you know, at least I got an answer there, you know. It's like when I was reading the Bible, like many different stories, you know, I, I, I found them all as truth. Like, truth as to why the world is like this, truth as to what I should do in life, even though I have a difficult time uh, finding it. And, you know, I also feel like God kind of talks to me sometimes. <laughs> now, now, don't put me in a mental ward, but, you know, whether it be a certain thought or whether it be someone speaking through me that's either of encouragement or a wrongdoing I'm doing in life, you know, I'm like, what if this is the Lord that's speaking to me? And, you know, stuff like that. And... You know, there's, you know, so yeah, so in 2022, I went through some really bad intrusive thoughts and, uh, you know, I prayed to the Lord every day and then they just went away, like, you know, after the six month time period, uh, cause you know, there can't be miracles when you believe to quote Whitney Houston, but, uh, yeah. You know, there's, like, way too much evidence out there to not prove, to prove that the Bible does not exist. So, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Uh, there's way too much evidence out there that proves that the Bible does exist. 
like whether it be from archaeological finds or scientific finds found years and years later, or even the description of hell and the dinosaur. All right, and there's still people who don't want to believe. You know, they rather focus on the gay part of the Bible. It's like, those should not sleep with another man. You know, it's just, it, it, it's pretty insufferable the way people treat people like me, you know, stuff like that. But uh, yeah, so I find it as truth. I find it as truth and, and I, <laughs> you know, Oh, again, it doesn't need to be about, uh, you know, happiness. Like, there's a lot of dark stuff in the Bible. You know, a lot of stuff I see are, you know, perfect representations of today's times and stuff like that. So, yeah. And I don't know why religion tends to be a uh, difficult subject to many people, which is kind of strange. I mean, if you lived in an abusive household with that kind of belief system, then, yeah, I could see it, but... It really shouldn't be, you know, it's just a god you believe in, you know, stuff like that. If you're an atheist, that's fine. If you're a Hindu, that's fine. If you're a Buddhist, that's fine. Just, uh, <laughs> just watch out for Scientology. Yeah, that's all I could say.